Pyroblast in its very first form had a 6 second cast time, a 6 minute cooldown, gave a 12 second dot, and had a 10% chance to stun for 2 seconds. Towards the end of vanilla in patch 1.11, the cooldown was removed. Back in the day, the longer the cast time on a spell, the harder it hit. Since Pyroblast had a 6 second cast time, it hit pretty hard. Because his single skill hit so hard all the way up until Wrath of the Lich King, the 3 minute mage was a real problem in PvP. A 3 minute mage was a mage that used a one shot macro with presence of mind, arcane power, a spell power trinket, and pyroblast to do a ton of damage in one hit, which could one shot almost anyone back in vanilla. The reason it's called the 3 minute mage is because both presence of mind and arcane power had a 3 minute cooldowns when it was a thing. The term though was mostly used by other players as a negative term for that no skill mage who killed them with a macro, since all you really had to do was make a macro and take the right talents to one shot or deal a large amount of damage in one hit. At the start of Wrath, the cast time was reduced to 5 seconds. Then in patch 3.09, Blizz finally killed the 3 minute mage by making it so arcane power and presence of mind shared a cooldown, then with the new talent system in Kata, made it impossible to even take those talents as a fire mage. At the start of Kata, its cast time was reduced to 3.5 seconds and its damage nerfed heavily from its previous form. Pyroblast was basically just turned into a proc talent. You only needed to use Pyroblast when you got an instant cast one, or to refresh a dot for a perfect combustion if you had a bad streak of crits. Then in Mist, you don't even need to Pyroblast dot to use combustion anymore, so there's really no reason to use it outside of a hot streak proc, although it is a lot easier to force a hot streak proc in Mist than it was in the past.